Okay, so let's start at the top. Why the need to recalibrate in the first place? Investigators look for any abnormalities in the mission that might have had an effect on the B-2's sensors. Huh. So, they got delayed by a day. Spirit of Kansas was left on the tarmac while the pilots waited to resume their mission. OK. So the jet was left outside for 24 hours because of the delay. So what? Check the weather. Second to last page. Holy smokes. That is one hell of a lot of rain. Weather records show that a tropical rainstorm settled over the airbase the night before the accident. OK, let's flood these two. Investigators run tests on B2 sensors to determine the effect rain may have had on them. And then stop. Got to be kidding me. Tests confirm that the sensors exposed to the heaviest rainfall got saturated and needed recalibrating. OK, so they recalibrate at 0934. Nearly an hour later, the master caution lights up because of an air data issue. So what happens in those 56 minutes? Investigators review what the pilots told them about the flight. Routine taxi. They hit the pitot heat, wait for the timer, and they're off. So, what about this? There are small heaters connected to each of the plane's sensors. Just before takeoff, the pilots activate the heaters so the sensors don't freeze up when the plane reaches cooler temperatures at higher altitudes. Investigators wonder if the pitot heat could have affected the recalibrated sensors. Clear right, good to line up. We didn't know enough to really put them together. And so we had to go get better understanding of the system. And we did that through engineers that actually built the system. When he saw the frequency of our calibrations, he was surprised and concerned. And then they turn on pitot heat when they get to the runway. And then he was really concerned when he saw and understood, like he only could, that with moisture in the system and the data that we were putting into it to fix it could cause such a problem. On the day of the accident, turning on the pitot heat had a consequence that no one anticipated. Recalibrating the sensors brought the three wet ones in line with the others. But turning on the pitot heat boiled away the moisture, bringing the sensors back out of alignment. But the discovery doesn't explain another key event during the short flight. Why did the faulty air data warning disappear six seconds after it came on? <laughs> 